and welcome back. In this next video, we're going to begin defining the custom stock models for each of the four setups. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can go about doing this. The way that I'm choosing today to show you is I'm going to custom draw the stock at each of the four setups required to manufacture this part. And this is just being done to kind of open your mind to new possibilities, maybe new ways of thinking. Maybe you'll like the way this is, maybe you won't, and that's okay too. But at the end of the day, what I want you to pay attention to is the complete process that Top Solid brings to the table. Beyond that, it's up to you to choose how you want to deploy and use such a powerful tool as Top Solid. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm in my assembly document. In the last video, I laid out the four positions of our part. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create a new, what we call in-place part. This is a top-down developed part. So I'm going to say new in-place part. This is, of course, aluminum as well. Okay. So we're going to choose aluminum. Click OK. And now over here, the part has been created based on the existence of this assembly. Again, in-place part. And I'm going to call this stock op1. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and go to our shape tool. I'm going to come here. Go to my enclosing block. I'm going to enclose that shape, but with a margin of an eighth inch per side. Perfect. I'm going to also change its color because, you know what, I want it to be yellow. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and make it 70% transparent as well. And finally, we're going to go ahead and publish that frame as datum 1. Because again, we want the same datum used throughout everything. And now I'm going to validate that. So stock op 1 has been created. In the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to make a copy of this over to here. And actually, we can make that right now. Why not? We're going to go ahead and drag and drop that over. I'm going to position that right there. And I'm going to validate the positioning group. However, I want to be able to modify this part independently of this part. And this was just a duplicate of this first part, or it's the same part, in fact, just re-included. It would be like me dragging it out of the tree here and re-including it. So what I'm going to ask Top Solid to do is do what we call a derivation. I'm going to right-click on the part out here on the screen, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to choose Derive Part for Modification. And now what happens is the software automatically creates a local copy of this part. It's right here. How did I find it? I just selected the face and it highlighted right here for us. And now I'm going to rename this to Stock Op 2. Now, what's really interesting about this derivation is if I go back and modify Stock Op 1's size, for example, this one will, of course, update automatically. However, any changes I make to this one moving forward does not go back to its original instance here. So it gives you the ultimate freedom to maintain the process that you're trying to maintain right now. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the creation of the modeling steps needed for this second operation.